Hello and so welcome back everyone, Anth Wolf here with more Star Wars The Old Republic playing as Valor Card the Bounty Hunter. Where we last left off, we were on the planet Kesh, which is uh, here behind us. We were trying, and I say trying in a loose sense of term, to see if a, I almost said pharmaceutical company, a company, which I'm trying to remember its name is, Adaska Corporation, or Biomechanical I believe it was, were wanting to promote us or use us in a promotion of their battle stimulants and adrenals, which turned out to be a total backstab by the Republic SIS. After dealing with them and escaping from their trap and then assisting the Empire in ruining the Republic's mining chances on the planet, we've been asked by Bloodworthy, another great, uh, well, a grand a champion of the Great Hunt, there you go, I'll find my words eventually, honest. We've been asked by Bloodworthy to track down another Blacklist target, but he hasn't told us anything about it just yet. He's asked us to travel to Hoth where we'll find more relevant information. Which is exactly what we're going to do now. I say it's been about six hours. I've recorded a bit of my Sith Warriors campaign. Actually on Kesh as well. Getting ourselves caught up in that series as well. And I thought rather than leave it for another day, everything's compressed, everything's up to date, I just need to upload, upload these to YouTube, I might as well continue this evening. I'm in the mood to play some more Star Wars and I'm quite happy to continue with the storyline. So, without further ado, let's get ourselves away. I need to sell some more miscellaneous goods that I've picked up. I will need to maybe go back to the Imperial Fleet in the near future to change some of my item modifications. I think the next bonus, like next group of item mods is level 45 though, so we could probably do Hoff and then see what level we're at before we go back to the fleet. And that's when we'll probably do our next flashpoint as well, which we only just unlocked in, the, I think, the previous video, uh, the, Red, the Red Reaper. Which I have very little clue of what it's about. I think it's to do with the Mandalorians once again. But it's been so long and I didn't complete it the original time I tried it. So it'll be something new for us both. So, let's um, get on our way to Hoth, shall we? Very famous world, you'll probably know it. Um, particularly from Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Uh, here we are. Recommends we're levels 37 to 41. Few life forms can survive on the ice planet Hoth. Between its sub-zero surface temperatures, shearing winds and frequent whiteouts, the environment should be considered extremely hostile, even to properly outfitted individuals. Mechanical equipment and communications technology are prone to freeze and malfunction as well, making any minor setback potentially lethal. During the war between the Republic and the Empire, the Hoth system was the site of a major fleet battle. This resulted in a large number of starships falling into Hoth's gravity well and crashing to the planet's surface. These derelict ships have become the base of operations for a large group of pirates, as well as the centre of dispute between Republic and Imperial forces. Alright, so it's going to be like the Indoor Star on Taris. Oh, Indoor Spire, sorry. There's going to be crashed or, as they say, derelict Republic and Imperial ships on the surface where we might have to board them and fight. It's quite a lot of air travel there, 1,000 credits, but it is our next quest location, so we have no choice. Let's bite the bullet and be on our way. Bye, Cash. Mako, open a secure channel on the frequency we got from the blacklist. Come on, come on. Signal strength is really poor. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, sorta. This is unexpected. I greet you on behalf of the Chess Ascendancy Bounty Hunter. I am Aristocle Shaw Adelizia. This hollow frequency hasn't had an inquiry in quite some time. I believe there were no longer any interested parties. If you got a job, I get interest. I need someone to hunt the Trandoshan pirate lord, Renegade Voss. Are you such an individual? May as well ask us to hunt the ghost of Nagasato. 
You lost me. Renegade Voss is almost space or superstition. Something to tell the kids. Just because Voss lurks in what your people pointedly refer to as the unknown regions, doesn't mean he does not exist. He is quite real and I presently wreaking havoc on Chiss occupied territory. What else can you tell me about Voss? Very little, unfortunately. He's never left anyone alive to give a proper report. Voss appears to have joined up with the White Moor, a massive confederacy of pirates pillaging Hoth's starship graveyard. Their raids have reduced our salvage operations to smoking wreckage. Voss, your only target of interest here? He's the only target you need to concern yourself with. We've committed the Empire to use Hoth for strategic purposes in exchange for their assistance dislodging the pirates. Imperial soldiers will handle the white more. However, Voss is worth more to us alive. Imperial grunts can't be trusted with this kind of work. Our patrols recently captured one of the white moor pirates out in the wastes. It may be able to point you to Voss once you arrive. I'm transmitting credentials that will allow you unrestricted access to Hoth's surface. Use them to travel to these coordinates. Contact me when you've secured Voss. So, they need Voss alive for some reason or another. Uh, Mako. Ah, uh, we'll just buy you some better pants if and when we need to. I'm just gonna, two seconds, I'll find my pen. Uh, Voss. Not to be confused with Voss from Far Cry 3, even though I'm probably going to pronounce it the same. I was writing his name down because if it's anything like uh, G-Con Kadera, I will probably forget it. I've already forgotten his his first name. Renegade? Renegade Voss? Has it become a person, a person of interest? I didn't pay attention. Let's have a look. There he is. Oh, he's a Trandoshan. Serpent in the Void, Sarlacc in Scales, the Hunter of Worlds. There are many names for the monster that stalks the farthest reaches of space. Renegade Voss is merely the name given in his native native tongue. A myth by many standards, the stories of fleets Voss has shattered and the colonies he's obliterated on numerous and pale imitations of the actual horrors he's inflicted in the name of his insatiable goddess. Those fortunate enough to escape the Transocean Pirate Lord can test that Voss is likely to met out as much harm to himself as to his prey. He pursues his foes with reckless disregard for his own survival. To Voss, to Jaganath, the point scored for killing is never so rich as when it's stolen from the brink of death. Yeah, Transocians have, I didn't realise it was a goddess, but they believe that they've got like a scorekeeper. And basically, for the prey they hunt, they get so many points. If they ever get captured, or made weak in some way, they can lose those points. It's very... I don't know much of the lore about Trandoshans, but it kind of... I kind of follow in what I've learned what from the Jedi Counselor storyline. A Trandoshan is actually your first companion. That's basically where I get my information from. So apparently we've uh, are the Chiss, who are one of the races. Actually, let's have a look at them if we can. Species. Oh, it hasn't came up. They were the blue-skinned race. We encountered one or two on Drome and Cass as well. One of them was the security officer. We were doing that uh, Imperial Intelligence mission for. They're very mysterious race. They keep themselves very hush-hush um, about their activities. Why they're interested in Voss Alive, I do not know and I probably don't want to know. It's not in my business. As if they're paying well, I suppose I should be content with that. So, as I say, they've apparently captured a pirate who may have more information for us. Uh, our contact there said it was an it though, not even identifying if it was male or female. Not that it matters as long as it has relevant information for us. But, hmm. I know something, but it's confusing player knowledge with character knowledge, so I'm just going to be quiet. Hmm. Apart from that burp, I hope it didn't come over the microphone, but we'll see. 
But yeah, I know something, which I won't spoil for anyone else. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, that's all I'll see on the matter. Let's wait for Hoff to load and go explore. This will be the first time I've ever been on this planet, same as when I was on Kesh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, we'll just walk around, we'll pick up what missions we can. I wonder if this will be larger than Kesh, actually makes us wander around. We're in an orbital air space station again. I wonder if we're going to get an inoculation once more. Uh, make go. Thought you forgot about me. Put you on med watch. And we'll send everyone else to do a more careful. bit of scavenging. Perfection is my goal. Master. We'll try and get a scavenging at least a one fifth uh, three to three fifty. I don't know how much we're going to need for the Red Reaper, but we might as well. Try to get some rounded numbers. I still can't believe we needed 325 scavenging or slicing for Colocoid War Game. Oh, okay. There's two people to speak to here. What is a dr Oh! I'm guessing you're here to tell us about Colocoid War Game? Let's have a listen. Color Cod Creation Nest. Yeah, we don't need to know about that one. We've done this one before. Ensign Ryalo. Hi. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Adama Space Station. I gather this visit is because you'll be traveling through to the surface of Hoth. That's the intent. I'll be scanning you so I can customize your cold weather equipment. Then I'll arrange your briefing. There we are. As you're on the VIP list, Lieutenant Halpern will brief you. He's in the theatre. Good day. Excellent. I'm guessing that's the beginning of the chain quest here. We have 44 minutes of experience. We need to take a stim, but we'll wait until we're in a combat situation to do that. And... oh. Wait, what? I thought the theater meant actually on the planet. As in, like, the battlefield theater, but... I guess I was mistaken. Hi! Good to have you with us. The men were wondering if they'd get to see the VIP. Ostensibly, the conflict on Hoth is over salvage from a battle that happened above the planet. In reality, it is our trap for the Republic. I hadn't heard anything about a trap on Hoth. Explain. The fight with the Republic has lasted for years now. The objective on Hoth is not to end the battle, but to sustain it. We want our forces small and mobile, and while the Republic keeps chasing victory, we bleed them dry of personnel and equipment. Hit and run. Not glorious, just effective. Exactly. Why capture a base when you can force the enemy to spend credits defending it? Sir, forgive the interruption. I brought by your survival equipment. We were just finishing, Ensign. This should keep your core body temperature up. When you're ready, report to a pilot in the shuttle bay for transport to the planet. Colonel Vanis at Dawn Base will be waiting for you. Good luck down there. Cold weather equipment. Elemental resistance plus 10% for 60 minutes. The stim stacks with others. Any traveler logger will remove this effect. Okay. What is my elemental resistance, actually? Do I have some? I must do. I know some are ah, there you go. Elemental. We have 7%. Okay. I know some attacks do elemental damage. I think, actually, we do a lot of elemental damage, yeah. We and the commandos on the Republic side deal. So we're going down to Dawn Base. Oh. Take a shuttle to the surface and speak with a shuttle pilot. Okay. 
So this is... Oh! We're literally in some sort of command center. Interesting. End of the line. Everybody out. You've got a meeting with Commander Triton. My briefing said I was to meet a Colonel Vanus. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Commander Triton's the one listed as in charge now. I'm sure he can fill you in on the story. I need to de-ice the shuttle here. Oh, great. Sounds like some confusion's going on. He's right in the center in the Imperial Market. We'll go speak to him first and then find out what the score is. The Warden's this way. Find out what the hell's going on. Low object here. GSI requisition. You won't find a better bargain. Don't know what that is, but that's fine. Sell all this anyway. Come back anytime. Lieutenant Duresh there. We have a lot of people. Uh, let's have a look what merchants we have. Stim, light armor, heavy armor, medium, weapons, bounty hunter trainer, of course. Who's over here? True skill. Specialty goods. Equipment and modifications? Yeah, okay. You have a social items vendor and a cantina vendor. What specialty goods are available? See anything you like, give me a wink. Oh, okay. He's on half bad, actually. Let's find one for aim. There you go. Oh, not terrible. Bring your creds back any time. Thank you. I will. Let's check this place out a bit further before we speak to anyone. I'm gonna just do a little bit of exploring, get the lay of the land. Moff Drayson. Imperial Adrenal Production and Crash is ramping up since the defeat of Jedi Master Thrall at your hand. Our forces have encountered only token resistance as we continue our conquest of the planet. Here's two stims. Thank you. Ah, an Adaska. It's come to my attention that you were troubled by an incident that occurred during your recent visit to a crash refinement facility. While Adaska Biomechanical cannot be held responsible for the extraneous circumstances surrounding the incident, we do apologize that your visit was disrupted, and would like to extend this complimentary gift to make up for your visit being cut short. Uh huh. Sincerely, Peyton Swole. Is this the real Peyton Swole? Are they asking me to come back and get uh, stabbed in the back once again? There's the cantina vendor. Here's the social items vendor. See anything you like? If we want to dress up warm, we can do. What kind of headband is that? It's got little teeth on it. Huh. And a circa eye. Summons a small probe drive which will follow and passively observe you on your adventures. Okay. But he needs social level 7. Come again. We only have social level 1 right now. Because we haven't done many things with uh, other people in our party. Let's see this Commander Triton and then find out what happened to Colonel Van uh, Vanis. 
Your advice boils down to doing nothing, and that I cannot do. Sir, I respect your bravery, but if you see this through personally, you will be dead. And whose leadership will we have then? If Command's description is correct, I believe you're the bounty hunter sent to assist us. This is Commander Triton, and I am Eudrus. Lieutenant Halpin sent word you would be coming, and we've never had greater need of you. Colonel Vanis, the commander of this base, is missing. We fear he's dead, along with all the most experienced men from this base. Bring me up to speed. The Colonel went out to investigate evidence of a possible spy probe near the Ice Lake. He was under heavy guard. We received a distress call. It was obvious he found trouble. Scout 1 to Dawn Base. Heavy casualties. Taking heavy casualties. We're under attack. We can't see the... Wow. What on this world could take out an armed group of officers? Besides the Republic, there are Wampers, pirates. Mostly aliens unafraid of the Empire. But we can't simply cower in our base when the mission is to damage and exhaust the Republic. And our men can't do it. Commander, this visit is a gift to us from fate. If a man tracker is what you need, you got the right person. Excellent. You'll find footprints easy to follow on hot for about five minutes until blowing snow obscures them. Our best case scenario is that Colonel Vanis's communications tipped off the Republic, and he's gone quiet. But if I were out in that cold, I'd have called for a rescue. If you can find the Colonel, everyone on this base is in your debt. Okay, I was thinking that maybe Commander Triton had seized command for some reason or another, but it actually seems he might be sincere. Not 100% sure, but it seems like he's sincere. Anyhow, so we've got a Lieutenant Duresh here to speak to. Let's see what he has in mind for us. Kunta Chuta Kasuyali Kulira Kanki Kung Chunki Faguta Chiho Poda Ji Oto Vokise. You'll get no argument from me. Akita Vitan Taka Mokili Te Jakta Grich Kra Uba Uri. Chechopa kuma ni umpi put malia bedwana ni bobo. Oya toka changa goptula do bata wana wanki. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Hatoga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. Ni at ambumpa o shura mokili mokranki. Chikospa ini gudad iji gliska chanagawa. What's your game plan? Kabanotase makipuna, malituta udmishka. O bagthra wanawaga mi punawa duetwipe. Se gota do muti kihasa da punyo, lis di woto. What's in it for me? Ha wanchi kospa tota ulia. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya. Nam kanoya choski nawi. Chobat i kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta. Okay, then so the Tals, whoever they are, are training Republic forces in their guerrilla tactics. This is where the Colonels were last reported to be. And this is where the Tal's training area is. Okay. I think that's the only quest we received. We obviously need to go see the Warden about this prisoner they're holding. See if he has information on our target, uh, Voss. I will end this video here. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about um, Hoff so far. We haven't even stepped outside this base yet, though. It's too early to tell, but... When we come back, we'll continue exploring and finally get into some action. So, this of course is Anfall for Star Wars The Old Republic. I'll see you for more next time. And so yeah, we'll continue the series then. Bye bye now.